Automotive software has been part of vehicle makeup for years, but the ever-accelerating advancement of technology is changing the way it's utilized. Joining us today is the president and CEO of Ledar Tech, France saint Amelie, a market leader actually in this field. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Pleasure. Yeah, it's great to have you. So let's kind of start off with Ledar Tech. Talk to us about what, what you guys do. Well, we make software that really allows uh, the vehicle to situate itself uh, in the scene and to be able to understand its environment better. And the reason why this is important because it allows the vehicle to make safe driving decisions. So the clearer, the more longer distance that it can see and also how accurate it sees, what types of, of obstacles that are in the, in, in the driving uh, lane or um, what are the conditions around the driving lane. So we use artificial intelligence to really allow the vehicle to navigate itself and make safe driving decisions like automatic braking, automatic steering, or even lane changing. We, we, we hear that term, you know, software defined vehicle in, in all kinds of areas of, of vehicles, you know, whether it's a consumer or, you know, commercial. What, is, what does that actually mean for, for the viewer out there, the, the, the software component? Why, why should they be so, uh, you know, careful in, in, in choosing what vehicle they, they, they purchase? Yeah, this is a very good question. To answer that question, I'm going to go back a, a little bit. Because since the advent of the automobile, it's been assumed that crashes are inevitable. Accidents will happen. So all technologies have been developed to mitigate the impact of, of crashes. Um, so today, uh, we are in an era where regulators are actually mandating that car manufacturers equip their vehicles with enough sophistication so that they can avoid crashes altogether. And so where software comes into play, we have a lot of um, uh, uh, technology, hardware technologies like processors and sensors that are very good, but the decision making isn't that good. And where software comes into play is it actually augments the capacity of the hardware to really allow s complex decisions to be made accurately all the time. So when software comes into play, when a vehicle gets outside of the, uh, out of the production lot, it's actually out of state or out of phase with state-of-the-art safety uh, technologies. So having the ability to um, update the software on a continuous basis, as the vehicle keeps driving, it's collecting more data, more miles, it's also becoming more intelligent. And so being able to upgrade that software on the fly actually makes the vehicle safer. Unlike us human beings, we get the, the software won't get distracted. Human beings were easily distracted, and so therefore, having a vehicle that's constantly updated, but also constantly uh, in phase with latest technologies, makes the vehicle safer. Now, what makes the software that LetterTech has unique in this space? We use a technology that's called um, low-level fusion. It's AI-based, low-level fusion. Uh, what, what's really unique about it is we actually recreate this scene on a pixel by pixel. 30 times per second, and we use the, uh, a technology to actually um, more than double the pixel count. So if you can imagine, you know, uh, the way the, the vehicles are produced today, they have cameras, they have radars, and every time that the radar sees something, today the vehicle operates in a sense where the radar makes its decision, the camera makes its decision. If there is a conflict, then you have delays and which can cause really, really uh, massive accidents because half a second of braking distance is huge when you're driving at 100 kilometers per hour or 100 miles per hour in the US. And, uh, and so we use uh, a technology that's called fusion, uh, low-level fusion, which st stitches the scene pixel by pixel, 30 times per second, and we do that twice every cycle. And so that's huge because it allows the car to actually brake sooner, make decisions for to avoid collisions sooner, and it's reliable all the time. Wow. This is so fascinating. You know, I had, I think, just as well, we had so many more questions about autonomous driving, yes. about the safety features that you guys can implement, the fact, you know, you've just, you've gone public as well recently, but unfortunately, <laughs> we're right out of time. But to learn more, you can visit lettertech.com.